بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹاپک از لمفوما دا لمفیٹک سسٹم از ا نیٹ ورک آف نوڈس کنیکٹیڈ بائی ویسلس دیٹ ڈرین فلوئڈ اینڈ ویسٹ پروڈکٹس فرام دی باڈی دا لمف نوڈس ایکٹ ایز ٹائنی فلٹرز از ٹریننگ آؤٹ فار این آرگینزم اینڈ سیلس لمفوما از کینسر دیٹ بگنس ان انفیکشن فائٹنگ سیلس آف دی امیون سسٹم کالڈ لمفوسائٹس Lymphoma occurs when the lymph node cells or the lymphocytes begin to multiply uncontrollably producing malignant cells that have the abnormal ability to invade other tissues throughout the body these cells are in the lymph nodes spleen thymus bone marrow and other parts of the body when you have lymphoma lymphocyte change and grow out of control Now the causes of lymphoma it begins when a disease fighting while blood cells called a lymphocyte develops a genetic mutation the mutation tells the cell to multiply rapidly causing many diseased lymphocytes that continue multiplying the mutation also also allows the cells to go on living when other normal cells would die This causes too many diseased and ineffective lymphocytes in your lymph nodes and causes the lymph nodes, spleen and liver to swell. There are two types of lymphomas, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. In Hodgkin lymphoma, it tend to develop into a type of cell called B lymphocytes which produce proteins called antibodies that latch on to foreign invaders and tell your immune system to destroy them in people with hodgkin lymphoma these lymphocytes grow abnormally and crowd out healthy white blood cells as the disease progresses it becomes more difficult for your body to fight infections now the non hodgkin lymphomas in non hodgkin lymphomas white blood cells called lymphocytes grow abnormally and can form growths or tumor throughout the body in non hodgkin lymphoma your lymphocytes don't die and your body keeps creating new ones this oversupply of lymphocyte crowd into your lymph node causing them to swell now the types of non hodgkin lymphomas there are two types non hodgkin lymphomas that are fast growing and non hodgkin lymphomas that are slow growing in fast growing further divided into diffuse large b cells lymphomas and burkitt lymphomas in the no- slow growing non hodgkin lymphomas further divided into two follicular lymphomas and waldenstrom mac- uh, macroglobulinemia difference between hodgkins and non hodgkin lymphoma in hodgkin lymphoma more often localized but in non hodgkin more frequent involvement of multiple peripheral nodes in hodgkin orderly spreading but in non hodgkin non contagious spread in hodgkin lymphoma mesenteric node and waldier ring involved but in non hodgkin mesenteric nodes and waldia ring commonly involved in hodgkins extranodal involvement is uncommon but in non hodgkins extranodal involvement is common early signs of lymphomas swollen lymph node fever or chills night sweat swelling of abdomen loss of appetite persistent uh, fatigue easy bruising or bleeding coughing chest pressure shortness of breath unexplained weight loss and itching is skin biopsy is a common diagnostic test for hodgkin lymphoma pathologist will take the cells and examine under microscope to look for the presence of abnormal lymphocytes called the reed sternberg cell or rs cell another test which is bone marrow aspiration or biopsy your doctor uses a needle to remove fluid or tissue from your bone marrow the spongy part inside bone uh, where blood cells are made to look for lymphoma cells 
another test which is based on the chest x-ray it will be done using low doses of radiation radiation to make images of the inside of your chest mri a technician will use powerful mag magnets and radio waves to make pictures of organs and structures inside your body pet scan this imaging test uses a radioactive substance to look for cancer cells in your body molecular test this test is used to find changes to genes proteins and other substances in cancer cells to help your doctor figure out which type of lymphoma you have blood test these check the number of certain cells levels of other substances or evidence of infection in your body cells and biomarkers for lymphoma reed sternberg cells are the hallmark tumor cells of hodgkin lymphoma they represent less than 1% of the tumor tissue while the majority of cells in the tissue include t cells b cells xenophils macrophages and plasma cells popcorn cells a reed sternberg cell variant with a lobulated clover leaf nucleus bubbly nucleoplasm a small acidophilic nucleus and a small rim of cytoplasm marker of lymphomas these are cd19 pax5 and tdt are early b cell differentiation markers expressed in precursors b cells later cd20 pax5 and cd 79 control further b cell differentiation and are also considered as biomarkers of b cell lineage cd30 cd15 cd50 and pax5 expression as diagnostic markers for hodgkin lymphoma or hl and systemic uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma difference between t cell and b cell lymphoma b cell produce the antibodies that target diseased cells t cells directly destroy bacteria or cell infected with viruses the goal of treatment is to destroy as many cancer cells as possible and bring the disease into remission common treatments for lymphoma based on the watchful waiting chemotherapy target therapy and external radiations lymphoma treatment include active surveillance chemotherapy radiation therapy in active surveillance some forms of lymphomas are very slow growing you and your doctor may decide to wait to treat your lymphoma when it causes sign and symptoms that interfere with your daily activities until then you may undergo periodic test to monitor your condition next is the chemotherapy uses drugs to destroy fast growing cells such as cancer cells the drugs are usually administered through a vein but can also be taken as a pill depending on the specific drugs you you receive radiation therapy radiation therapy uses high powered beams of energy such as x rays and protons to kill cancer cells bone marrow transplant a bone marrow transplant also known as a stem cell transplant involves using high doses of chemotherapy and radiation to suppress your bone marrow then healthy bone marrow stem cells from your body or from a donor are infused into your blood where uh, they travel to your bones and rebuild your bone marrow the uh, two main types of bone transplant autogenous stem cell transplant and allogenic stem cell transplant in autogenous stem cell transplant your own stem cells are collected before treatment and stored until after you receive high dose chemotherapy or radiation the bone marrow cells are then put back into your body after treatment in allogenic stem cell transplant stem cells from a donor 
whose usually a close relative are transplanted into your body allogeneic stem cell transplant are usually performed only when an uh, autologous transplant has failed other treatments include along with chemotherapy various other drugs therapies may be used such as steroid targeted therapy immunotherapy and brentoximab vedotin in steroids uh, these are these uh, sometimes added to chemotherapy if initial treatment has not worked or if the cancer is advanced in target therapy drugs attack cancer cells without damaging healthy cells as much as chemotherapy drugs a drug in this class called rituximab may be added to chemotherapy if you have nlphl immunotherapy in immunotherapy drugs increase your immune system's ability to target and destroy cancer cells brentoximab um, is a new drug that is used to treat a specific type of hodgkin lymphoma called cd30 positive hodgkins lymphoma if you like our presentation please like share and subscribe to our channel and be sure to press the bell icon thank you very much